Hey, welcome to another episode of Handle and Blade. If it's got a handle and it's got a blade, we're gonna run it through the test so that you have a good idea of whether or not this is the right knife for you. We're covering knives, we cover axles, we cover machetes, we're gonna be covering chef's knives, we're gonna be covering, again, just about anything. So long as it's got a handle and it's got a blade, you'll find it here on Handle and Blade. So with that being said, today's video is gonna be covering the Kershaw camshaft. There's some things I really like about this knife some things I don't really like, and we're going to cover those here, so hang in there for that. And we're going to run through a battery of cut tests so you can get a good idea of how this knife actually functions in real life. We don't, on this channel, just cut paper. We actually cut things that you may be cutting with your knife. But let's go ahead and talk about the handle to start with. This is a glass-filled nylon handle. It can take a lot of abuse. It's very, very strong. It has texture on it, so you get a really, really good grip on it. Um, and as far as the clip, it is reversible, so you can use it on this side or take the screws out from this side, flip the handle to this, or the clip to this side and go ahead and attach it. So if you're right hand, left hand, uh, find what you like the best when it comes to that. So covering the handle wise, good grip on it. Now, here's the thing, I mean, and this is one of the downsides. I'm not gonna say downside, but it is a little bit different. The shape of the handle, and first off, you know, they're, they're claiming, you know, decorative, uh, piece here in this little back piece is a decorative deal. Well, I can't tell you the last time one of my buddies looked at my knife and went, wow, boy, that's pretty right there, right? <laughs> I don't care about decorative. What I want is function and I want comfort and I want to know that the handle feels good in my hand. With this knife, okay, here's the way it's being held if you're looking at it this way, okay? Now, when I open up my hand, you can see that this actually lays right here, okay? Well, if you take knife off, you take your hand and take your thumb and push right here. You've got a bone here, you've got a bone here, and then you've got meat all running through here. With the way this thing lines up in here, at least on my hand, right, because of the way this curves, this part of this clip pushes down right on that bone. So if I'm really giving it heck, I can feel that digging right here and digging right here, okay? Now, your hand may be different. It may be, you know, a little bit longer, whatever the case may be. But for me, that's where it falls. So I'm not the biggest fan of that. Now, it's not a deal breaker for me because it still works good and, and I'm not really mashing in, but just keep that in mind. Um, okay, so moving on to the blade, really high um, strength steel here, stainless. They uh, kind of did a little bit of coating or treatment on the blade to kind of help hide scratches and things like that, stone washed. But uh, that doesn't really matter. What matters is, is it sharp? Point really sharp. It's got a bit of a belly here, so it's good for slicing things. So we're gonna go ahead and run through a battery of tests so that you can see for yourself how sharp it is. Rope here, as you normally see on this channel, this is a three um, strand braided rope. We're gonna go ahead and this would be as far as cutting through, not too hard at all. Uh, really good as far as not leaving a lot of frayed edges. So that's, that's pretty sharp. This is our strap tra uh, strap cut. So this would be similar to a seat belt or a uh, winch strap type deal. So as you can see, no problem cutting through that. A little bit different style rope here. The one you'll find on a boat most of the time. We just grab that, go ahead and give it a cut. Again, nice, not a lot of frayed edges. So it's going through really nice. So this is a really good sharp knife. Paracord, that's gonna be kind of a joke at this point after cutting those things. But you can see that the paracord just no problem at all. So we're good to go on those types of things. Um, when it comes to um, something like a zip tie in your packaging, just stick your knife point up in there, give it a little twist, zip tie gone, nothing, it's not gonna stop it. Obviously, if you're wanting to just go ahead and cut uh, as far as cutting down limbs into stakes, whatever it might be, if you're just whittling really sharp in the belly side, so you're not gonna have any problem doing that. Uh, this is a little bit harder, harder wood. This is a pepper tree, so it, it does have some hardness to it and it has no problem getting through there. And as far as the knife point uh, cutting through cardboard, it did a good job there and I was hardly pressing down on that here. If I just press down on it, you'll see there was no problem in cutting that. So when it comes to a just good all around general purpose, carry it with you everyday type knife, spring loaded as far as the, uh, the blade goes. This is a really, really good choice with the exception of, again, I will say 
this handle, depending on the way your hand is structured, may or may not be the most comfortable. Um, the other, I will leave you on a positive note, as always here. This is the one thing I really like about the Kershaw knives. They do it on all of them, is the flipper is at the bottom. So when I put this on my belt, it's on my hip, when I go to lift up, it's right there. So as I'm coming up, if I'm using this in a self-defense situation, something's come up and I need to have a blade fast for whatever the reason might be, even if I'll, you go overboard because you've got a 500 pound sailfish on the other end of your line and you're offshore and uh, you go overboard and because you, you've got to cut a line or something, getting this off and getting the blade open and being able to cut with it very quickly is super important to me because um, there's all kinds of situations where you're going to need potentially need that so with all that being said thanks for checking out this episode of handling blade again the, this is the kershaw camshaft link will be down in the description if you're interested in checking this one out and as always if you have this knife already drop me a comment below let me know if you like it don't like it and if there is a knife axe hatchet chef's blade whatever it might be that you want us to put through the test here on handle and blade let us know in the comment section below and we'll make sure we pick those up and give them a run as well we're going to be changing up the things that we're cutting as well depending on the type of knife that we're putting to the test hatchets we're going to do a little bit different axes we're going to do a little different chef knives we're going to be doing a little bit different but for right now we're doing uh you know a few pocket knives and some different things so um anyway hey if you like it links below Make sure you hit the uh, subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss an episode of Handle and Blade. Thanks for checking it out. See you in the next one.